Hi guys, welcome to Darkness in Studio. As you can see, I just bought a new webcam, so um, now normally in my recordings you will be able to see me down here somewhere. Um, I had a new idea, and I was thinking uh, a lot about this, and it may help you a lot. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do uh, a video, not a tutorial. It's just a video showing you a uh, a new VST. Well, not a new one. I'm just gonna like. Uh, show you uh, what kind of VSTs I use to make my tracks and uh, each week I'll make a video out of it I'll make a, uh, well, I'll call the video, uh, I know um, uh, the VST of the week uh, or something like that, you know, and I'll just in the video I'll open up Fluency Loops and I'll, uh, I'll um, oh, and uh, yeah, in Fluency Loops I'll show you uh, what the VST is all about. So today uh, is going to be the first time, um, the first time I'm going to do this video. So uh, today uh, we are going to uh, to look at a bundle. So we're going to begin begin not with only one VST but with uh, a lot of VSTs. So uh, yeah, uh, the bundle is it's it's a, it's called the uh, uh, waves and one knob bundle. Uh, I'm sure you already are you already heard of that. If you didn't, uh, it's a it's a great bundle. It's very nice. It gives some very nice sounds. So uh, yeah, for that you need to have all the Wave Shell, or you can uh, download the nice standalone plugins. The Wave bundle. Uh, here's the one knob. Here they are. We got the mono and the stereo. Well, we are going to use stereo in this um, in this little uh, video. So um, we're going to begin with the uh, filter. Hmm. Only maybe with the brighter. Yeah, we're gonna begin with the brighter. So as you can see, the uh, interface of the VST is very simple. It's just one big knob. When you turn it, the LEDs go on on the side. Uh, and that's actually it. That's the whole the whole VST. This, but uh, I'll open up. Uh, I don't know which. I can open up. Uh, what will I be able to open up? Gonna open up a um, second. I think. There you go. Okay, guys. So that's a little uh, two reverb. reverb. Okay, there you go. So now I'm gonna put a uh, a melody in it. So uh, I'm gonna go to my uh, MIDI files. Uh, uh, well, where are we going to put it? We're gonna put a little remix I made of uh, Voice of Penguins Melancholia. So here is the track. <laughs> So there you go. That is the uh, the little uh, melody. And uh, well, tell me how you how you, uh, if you like this little remix of the melody of Melancholia. It's kind of nice. So what I'm going to do is easy. For now, I'm just going to add like a um, a little parametric EQ on it and a reverb. So uh, you can add your own if you want later on. <laughs>
so now I'm going to show you what the one knob uh, bundle does. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put the the VST of waves on the on the insert where I put the, the little synth. No, I'm going to put it on the master. So I'm going to reopen the wave shell VST uh, uh, 8.0. That's uh, that's that that's it's that is a VST when you you can uh, install it. You can uh, drag it into your VST uh, folder, your main VST folder of uh, Fruity Loops, and you can open it up. And when you open it up, it's not a VST. It's it's a whole list of VSTs you can open. So if I want to open, I don't know, uh, uh, I don't know, like uh, pitch ultra pitch with uh, st a mono stereo, it's open up as the VST. So that's that's great. I mean, you don't have to have a huge list in your uh, in your in your uh, VST uh, list effect list it's just one and then you open it up and you can choose one so okay uh, as I said we're gonna begin with the one up brighter so what this VC should do is make make the sound brighter so we're gonna we're gonna try and I hope you will listen uh, you will hear the difference so um, yeah here we go listen to listen to the difference when I, I will turn the knob so uh, you can uh, you can hear what this uh, little uh, VST is all about there you go <laughs> When you use the VST, you never use it max. You know, you will always use it like between three and five, never more because you don't want to make the sound sound too bright. You know, so you're just gonna put a little little bit of brightness in the in the in the, in the sound, and that's all. So you heard this difference. Now we're gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on three. That sounds pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep it on three. I'm just gonna change change one little right there. This one here. Okay, so I'm just gonna change little things because I want to. I want the bass to come out a bit more. So. Uh. Okay, there you go. That sounds pretty cool. So now we're going to we're gonna add uh, again a uh, one knob as a VST, but this time I'm gonna add. Mm, what we're gonna add. I'm gonna show you what the filter does. And again, it's just one knob. It won't change, um, but this time, this time it's a filter. So you already know what the filter does. You can uh, you can change the resonance, uh, moderate resonance, uh, resonance, a high one or an extreme one or nothing. Uh, for now, we're gonna use nothing. And uh, I, I, yes, yes, that's it. Okay, you can o you can always you can always if you don't know uh, if you want to do something like if you don't know what to do you just click on the randomize button and they will automatically put some filter on it. But if you don't know how to use this VST, that means you're seriously stupid because with one knob you can't really have problems wh while using it, I guess. But that doesn't matter. So yeah, we're gonna look what the, this one does. <laughs> Just filters the, the sound. We're gonna, just, we're gonna see if we put some bit resonance re resonance on it. Sorry, I'm a bit sick, guys. So <laughs> I can't really um, speak that well. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to uh, uh, this uh, this manipulation. See if it changed something. Well, I can already hear there's a resonance effect. So. That depends on your taste. Uh, I like it when there's when there's a bit of it. So moderate, that's quite nice. But I guess if I put it in high and extreme, that will be too, way too much. So I'm gonna try this out. Yeah, that's that's already too much. And extreme. Yeah, that sounds crap. You know, it's like it's no, no, that's that's too much. I don't like that. So yeah, for the um, filter, we're going to just let it let it a maximum because we don't we're not going to use a filter. 
I'm just showing you how how uh, what this VST does, and I'm, and I'm sure a lot of you guys don't uh, know that this little bundle exists, and it's very useful. I use it a lot in like um, making my sounds uh, sound clearer. So the, the what I use the most is the driver, the brighter, the one not driver, one not brighter, and the one not fatter. But the fatter I don't use it a lot. I just a little bit of tweaking in, in that's all. So we're gonna see what the driver does. The driver it, uh, it's one knob again. <laughs> So, uh, oh, I'm gonna turn around the knob and you can hear, I hope you will hear the difference. So, here we go. And again, you can hear that after I, I, I just I turn the knob a little bit, you already hear a difference. So. What you want to do is again not to overpower this, uh, overpower your track with this. Just don't go above the two. You know that's that's way too much. Yeah, two is way too much. So one should be nice. I, I'm I'm just gonna put zero uh, zero point three, zero dot three. So yeah, that gives it a, 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 a very weird sound actually. Gives you a drive to it, but yeah, it's. It actually changes a lot the sound of the the VST. That's uh, the sound the yeah the sound of the synth. That's that's kind of bad. So uh, yeah, you just need to be uh, moderate with turning the knobs. You know, you need to you need to not to ma to put them in max just a little bit just to give them that little m uh, little bit of feeling that is missing to the sound. You know, that's what you're searching for. So again, we're gonna try another one. As you can see, they got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven of them in the in the bundle. Seven of one knob, but you got uh, two of each. You got a mono and a stereo. Sorry for that. Oh, I just got a bit um, not late to bed tonight. So yeah, you got um, you got uh, two uh, of each. So it's stereo and s in mono. So you can use this uh, this stuff on. I don't know if you want to have um, mono vocals. I prefer I, I don't like mono vocals but some guys use it you can add a mono brighter on it a mono driver and maybe a mono louder the one we're gonna look right now so I'm gonna open it up so the name says it all louder so it will make it uh, sound way louder so uh, we're gonna see uh, if this uh, sounds good enough what the fuck there's a fly going on my head where did it come from bitch anyways I'm sure you saw that, it's a big thing. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, we're gonna use the louder now. Listen to this guys. And again it when you turn it up and you hear a change directly, but you don't wanna overblast uh, your track with this because it's quite powerful. It's a it's a powerful bundle. So I mean it will it will change your sound a lot if you if you if you use it too much. So you don't want to do that. Don't overpower your tracks your, your track with this kind of things. So uh, yeah, just put it a bit again. I'm gonna put zero three again. Uh, maybe you think oh you put zero three that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you got in that case don't make don't put one on it. Well it does make sense because even if I put zero three or zero one the sound will change. Fucking. Life fucking killing me. Go away, you bitch. Shock smash. <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm gonna say. Anyway, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna look at another one. This time we're gonna uh, look at the fatter, the one not fatter. So there you go. I'm gonna put one next to it. Uh, the one non uh one non no, no, the one not fatter. Uh, the um, I'm not gonna. I, I can't really explain w uh, what kind of effect it gives to your track. It, it's like it's fattening it up, you know. It's like, <laughs> and yeah. I don't. I don't really like it, but sometimes I use it just to give that sp uh, special sound to 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 like effects or to, to something else to a synth. But yeah, listen to it. You will see what it what, what, what it will sound like. I'm gonna turn off all the other ones because uh, while I'm doing this, if I put all the other ones, you won't really hear what the the. the the fat it does, and actually I should do that with all the ones, but it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna use the original s sound and with the fatter only this time, so listen to this. So now I put it in max, 
and uh, the sound didn't change that much but if you got good ears you will hear that it changed quite a bit and it sounds pretty shit if you put it at 10 so it's like it's they put like they they've cut off the high frequencies a bit and it sound it doesn't sound clear anymore and that's not what you want so again you're gonna put it at one and listen yeah I like it at one and if I if I put the brights at the same time. Okay, now you can do like combinations because the fatter puts up a bit of the of the uh, high EQ sound, so it, it makes it less bright brighter, but it gives it a little fat fat uh, fatness effect, so it, it gives it more more warm uh, warm. Uh, it's like like warmer. The sound is warmer, but you can add like a brighter on it to uh, re put those high frequencies up and keep that warm effect. You, you know what I mean? Like you can do like little, little combinations between uh, all those VSTs, all those uh, one knob bright uh, one knob uh, bundle, and to make it sound very nice at the end. So I think now we're gonna look at the last one. No, I don't think it's the last one. No, we got two less, uh, two two left. But this is the, this is the one of pressure. So it will. The I I uh, I hate this one, but because it gives a lot of pressure on the sound, and you don't actually want that. It depends on what style you make, because yeah. But for me, no, the one pressure is not gonna. It's it's not the. Uh, this one. I'm not gonna keep this uh, even if it's shit, but okay. So let me turn a bit up. Oh shit, what happened? Oh yeah, okay, I know. So there you go, you got them all. And now I've put the yeah, the pressure beneath it. So we're gonna listen to it how it sounds with the pressure on. It's like if you it's 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 like you put a uh it's yeah, I don't know, I don't know how to say this but it it, it sounds pretty you know like it's it it they they compress the sound it's like it's like you put a limiter, but you put it way down. So actually, the way the, the the volume is going way up, and it has to it has to um, damn how you say that? It has to um, clip clip. It has to clip a lot. So it, it you can use it a bit, but I won't use it that, that much. Actually, I didn't use it that much in the beginning. But yeah, you can always try and try it out. You know, it's all about creativity. So now the last one I'm gonna use is the one up wetter. So and and this is the only these the only uh, one knob they give with the mono mono and stereo and the stereo. So I don't really get what why did they done this on only that one. But uh, we will find out soon, I guess. We're gonna play. So this is it. <laughs> well, it gives it a very metallic sound. I don't know if that was the. Yeah, well, I guess it might. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's. Uh, this one I never used it as well, so because I don't really use it, but that that I that I don't really uh, I'm not looking for that that particular sound, you know. So um, yeah, well, you can. Uh, you can try to do whatever you want with it. That those were the this was the the waves bundle that's called one knob. And for me, this is a very um, a very useful bundle because I use it a lot for my sounds to make it that little brighter and that little more uh, 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 how do you say that louder or uh, like put a little filter on it that sounds pretty uh, particularly nice, you know, on, on that sound. So yeah, I use this a lot and. Uh, well, I hope, I hope you use it. Uh, you will use it very, <laughs> very. Uh, what the fuck? I hope you will use it a lot as well after this little tutorial. I hope you will, uh, or buy it, or I don't know, get it illeg illegally. And I, I'm, 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 I will p uh, post the, the link of, uh, of, uh, of this this bundle uh, on the in the description. Not to download it illegally, of course. 
uh, and they give you trial version so you will be able to test this on your own and uh, if, if you like it you can always you know put some money on, on the side and buy this bundle because it's very nice it gives some very nice sound uh, very with the brightness is very nice the filter is good the drive is very nice and the louder as well after that the fatter the pressure wetter is not good I, I mean I, I don't use it so you will be uh, maybe you will you will I don't know it's not because I don't use it that you won't be using it but um, anyways this was uh, for me the VST of the week uh, the one knob uh, waves bundle and uh, well it's not just a VST there are, <laughs> there are seven of them so uh, I mean they're, they're pretty good uh, and uh, you should definitely sh check it out so uh, yeah that was it guys well uh, thank you very much for um, for having uh, watched this video and if you liked it well uh, subscribe like and comment and telling me uh, if this helped you and uh, if if those uh, those one knobs uh, helped you a lot in your tracks Thank you very much guys, and uh, see you later. Bye. See you next week with a new episode of uh, the VST of the, of the week. See you guys.